Hi programmers, so in this video we will see that how we can solve this lead code to some problem which uh, was asked in 30 companies, literally in 30 companies from Google, Amazon, like all the fan companies and each and everything you can see that came in Apple, Oracle, everywhere, right? So this question is really important. In Google that was asked in 208 times. So you can see that how much the weightage of this question is, okay? Now the thing is that to solve this problem, first let's slowly and clearly understand the problem statement what we are trying to achieve. Alright, so we got two sums, so it is telling like okay we need to perform some additions, okay. Now let's understand the question first. Given an in array of integers numbers, okay, we got the given an array which is number of integers, right, we got just integers in it, that array, okay. and an integer target okay we got a target value over here a written indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target so we have to find two elements from this numbers array we should give an addition which is equal to this target value now over here we got nums so what is what two elements I can find over here which should give me 9. So as you can see 2 and 7 if I you know add those two we can get the value 9. So we don't have to return 2 and 7 it is telling that we have to return indices of them. So we have to return 0 comma 1 over here like that one okay. Now let's see the next example. So next example it says that nums 3 comma 2 comma 4 so we have a target of 6. Okay let's add up first two values 3 comma 2 uh, 3 comma 2 it's 5 so we can't take those value what about 3 comma 4 uh, we uh, 3 comma 4 is uh, again uh, 7 so we can't take the that value what about 2 comma 4 yes we can take 2 comma 4 value because that is forming 6 so we should return 1 comma 2 as an indices what about the third example 3 comma 3 which is forming 6 we, do, we should return that value there okay now um, let's see how we can do that one to keep it simple what I did was I just created you know added those two example in my uh, like word example over here and will show you with this example like how we can implement it okay now to do so uh, as you can see we'll check we'll take this example first okay now so I'll be I'll be adding some values 0 1 2 3 we have three indexes over here and we have to return ninth value over here okay which is like this particular example for example 2 comma 7 equal to 9 we have to return that value right so for example what I'm going to do I'll be writing for loop for for example I, I'll be uh, using a uh, key value pair I'll try to return all the key values key and value like in the indexes plus the value and return it so for example if I return like k comma v in enumerator enumerate of nums okay let's print it okay let's print the, those value and let's see what we get okay so I'll be copying this and going here pasting it let me try printing that value so for um, k comma v in enumerate numbers print k comma v so if I try to print like this and then just print solution equal to solution and then I'll be passing like 2 7 11 15 and target values there is that one okay let me try just print it okay so we got those values so at the zeroth indices we got it is telling at k means like the indices okay k is indices while v is the value so that's what I am returning like I got 0 indices and that's uh, first value is 2 on the second indices which is first uh, is we got 7 and uh, like second indices I got 11th third indices I got 15 like that okay now we got that value okay now the thing is that somehow we need to find a solution target value this one so the target value is something like I don't know um, a plus B equal to target if I write like this one should be fine so we need to find like we don't know about a value right we but we do know about like what is the value 
of this target. So what I'm going to do, I'm just quickly uh, rewrite this equation like target minus a equal to b. If I write li like this one, we should get that value. Okay. So I'm just writing, okay, we got the value 9 over here. So I'm printing, I'm just writing a 9 over here. We got 9. Now inside this 9, I'm going to like 9 minus whatever the k whatever this v value we, is, we are getting we will iterate that v value one by one so v value in this scenario we got over here two so i'm just taking that value instead of v we are just taking that value two and then nine minus two equal to seven i'm getting this value seven over here now as soon as i got this value seven we already have that value the, which is coming from here right which is coming from that value now we need to check somewhere this value whether that value is already present in that inside this dictionary or not inside this array or not so what we will be doing we will be creating above this one a dictionary or hash map which will save value comma index one so like it should be forming like two is coming at the indexes of one seven is coming and the indexes of one okay um, eleven is coming at the indices of two and fifteen is coming at the indices of three so we need to form something like this one to check it okay now to do so what we can do if we need to check that particular seven value we are now if i'm taking this condition if b is b in hash map hash map if we have b that in hash map we will be returning the value inside the hash map hash map okay so this is particular value hash map of b comma this particular k because this is what we have to return it else we will be returning hash map i'm not returning we are setting that value hash map of v equal to k and this is what we have to do and that's it okay so what we are trying to do over here we are trying to you know first setting this value as an empty dictionary and then we are checking whatever the differences difference we are getting we are checking whether that value we already have in, inside this this particular hash map if we have that value inside this hash map we are taking this indices this indices we are taking so seven we have we got seven we are taking this indices so this particular thing will return one and we already have this key which is returning which is checking that value over, over here right which is zero so one comma zero or zero comma one we can uh, you know swipe that value or something like that and that's how we can save that values all right now let's see how we can implement in in the real time so in the code if i go over here in the enumerator and above this one i'm gonna just add hash map as a simple dictionary and then over here i will be writing something like b equal to target minus v okay now if b in hash map we will be returning hash map of b comma k and then we are returning finally hash map of v equal to k okay so now if i copy this or if i run this one and then just print this value rs equal to rs if i print this value somewhere here print rs and then check it see we got that value 0 comma 1 okay now if i try to hit it and see this one boom all the test cases were passed if i submit it see we be, we beat like everyone like in 20 zero millisecond it is saying like i bit like 100 percent again all the people there out there and the memory is 89 percent uh 0.9 percent which is like really really good 
so that's how you can you know solve this problem this is a really simple problem but you know you know you need to make sure that how you are forming the hash map here just make sure that we are forming this hash map with the value and indexes so value is the key and the indexes is the value so yeah so that's all you need to solve this problem now if you have any questions please do let me know because i'll be keep repeating or keep solving all the problems of lead coach which will be asking in like all the fan companies and this is my mission so please support by me by you know just hitting that like button and do subscribe do let me know if you have any question in the comment section below thanks for watching see you around